Hi everyone, if you still do not understand how to distinguish between male and female fish guppies, then I will help you with this video. All viviparous fish for example guppies, Melanesia, Pacilia and swordfish, sex can be determined by a single sign, and in swordfish even Purivid nigo who wears a tail in the form of a sword, the male. Get comfortable and watch the video to the end. Guppy fish are popular pets and make a great addition to the home aquarium. Males and females reproduce quickly after mating, although many parents have been known to eat their cubs. You can tell a male and female apart fairly easily when they are at least one week old. Sex can be determined by examining the body shape, fins, and coloration of the fish. Check the shape of the body. Males usually look slender while females are rounder and larger than males. Also look at the dorsal fin. At the top of the body, males have long dorsal fins and females have very short ones. Look for bright coloration or patterns on the body. Males are usually more colorful than females and often have spotted or striped markings. Next, using guppies as an example, I will show you how you can determine their sex. This example will also work for other lid-bearing fish. Notice the slender or round body shape. The body shape of male and female guppies is very different and distinctive. Male guppies usually have a very slender, long body, while female guppies are usually much rounder and larger than males, sometimes twice as large as male guppies. If your female guppy is pregnant, her body may look square, padded and even lumpy. She may become even rounder as she gets closer to giving birth to her cubs. Male guppies are often more colorful than their female counterparts, and their bodies may be covered in bright colors and patterns. Males may have their bodies and tails covered with orange, blue, purple, green, black and white spots and stripes. They use this coloration to attract a female. Keep in mind that spotting lots of bright colors and patterns on a guppy is not a sure way to identify it as a male. Some species of guppies have females that are also quite colorful. So you can use other physical markers to determine the sex of your guppy in addition to coloration. While you are studying the shape and coloration of your guppy's body, you should get a little closer to your fish and check for the presence of a pregnancy spot. The pregnancy spot is a dark spot located on the underside of your guppy's body, near the tail and is a clear sign of a female. Males do not have this spot. Pregnant female guppies become darker and larger as they get closer to giving birth. As she approaches her due date, you may be able to see fry inside her, near where she was conceived. Once she has fry, her pregnant spot will become lighter and then darken again when she becomes pregnant again. The dorsal fin is located on the top of the fish. Male guppies have longer dorsal fins and female guppies have shorter dorsal fins. The tail fin of guppies can help you determine the sex of the guppy. Male guppies have broad, long tail fins, often brightly colored, with intricate patterns. Female guppies have shorter tail fins that are not as broad and long as the males. A guppy's anal fin is located under the fish and is just in front of the caudal fin. The male guppy's anal fin is long and narrow, with a slightly pointed end. He will use his anal fin to fertilize the female. In contrast, the female guppy has a shorter, triangular-shaped anal fin. Her pregnant spot will be located right above her anal fin. These are the signs you can definitely tell which of your pets is a boy and which is a girl. I hope I've helped you understand. Thank you all and see you all again.